hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will learn how to generate a dynamic length horizontal scroll view at runtime as you are seeing on the screen plus each scroll view items click event detection for further use within the project so let's begin in this channel we produce a content related to game development using the unity 3d game engine and designing through different popular softwares on a regular basis so if you are interested in this then don't forget to subscribe to the channel plus you can visit our website to see the content that we already worked on and published in the market now let's begin the video currently we have a complete empty scene so let me change the camera background color according to our requirements within the project we have two graphics first a button image and second a scroll view container image first let me create a canvas with 1920 by 1080 resolution and then create a scroll view within it i am removing horizontal and vertical scroll bars because those are not required for me as per your design if it is required then you can keep them this is the overall scroll view structure we have scroll view the actual component that manages all things viewport defines the visible area of the scroll view content defines the content that exists within the scroll view now move back to the project change the background of scroll view and adjust the size related to that within the content section i want to put all items in horizontal order only so i am adding horizontal layout group component removing check mark from child force expand with and height then after i am making the content section left aligned and height set to 400 as per our requirements and at last child alignment setting to middle center of horizontal layout group component so all elements start positioning from the center now it's time to create a button item as per our requirements so let me prepare it button label we want to change the runtime so i have renamed text component to level button number text and we will use this letter within the script let me create some copies of level buttons so we can see how our scroll view is behaving if you notice the problem our scroll view can't able to scroll as my drag gets completed it resets its position to solve this problem you have to understand one concept and this become useful when runtime dynamic size content gets loaded if you notice content box rect transform width then it's similar to viewport box rect transform width so this is wrong content box rect transform width needs to be dependent on the scroll view content itself so how to do this we have to add the content size fitter component to the content object and sets its horizontal fit value to preferred size let me repeat this again add the content size fitter component to the content object and sets horizontal fit value to preferred size this will make the content rect transform of dynamic width based on the actual content present on its child size will get adjusted by that you are clearly seeing this within the screen how the width of the content object gets changed and now scrolling started properly too i am making some adjustment to horizontal layout group so it looks better when content gets loaded
now we have to start loading content at runtime so for this purpose i am creating two scripts first level button item and attach it to level button and next script is level scroll view controller and attach it to horizontal scroll view let's start the coding part and first open level button item script define two public variables which do not become visible in unity editor first level index defines the purpose within the name and second level scroll view controller reference to access horizontal scroll view controller script and at last we will create a level button click event and register a click event to the button itself next we will create a prefab of level button so we can generate as many buttons as we want i am adding text reference to update level buttons level number text let me add start method to set level number text with its number within the level button prefab assign level button text object to its reference within level button item script now move ahead to another script level scroll view controller script first define three variables first number of levels variable to hold the total number of levels second level button prefab variable to hold the prefab of level button template and third level button parent variable to hold all generated level buttons next create a load level buttons method and directly call it from the start method within load level buttons method instantiating level button and directly setting it as a child of level button parent one thing i forgot to add is a loop to create a target number of level buttons for scroll view in the next two lines we are assigning values to two variables of level button item script level index and level scroll view controller within the unity editor assign the values to level scroll view controller script first number of levels to 10 second level button parent to scroll views content object and third drag level button prefab okay all level buttons generated but i have set the wrong button text value so let me correct it within the script within the level button item script just a number not the whole level dash word we required to write okay now the whole thing is perfect now focus on the level button item click event and our target is to change the page title text based on the level button click so let's add one new method on level button click within level scroll view controller script and pass the level index as the parameter within the same script add one more text variable to hold level number text that exist on the page title on level button click method 
we just want to change the level number text so i am adding only that line within your code you have to update here based on the selection if you want to change something jump to another script on level button click method of level button item script you have to call level scroll view controller scripts on level button click method by passing current level button index this is actually the click method which gets called by the ui level button object when it gets clicked let me confirm within the inspector that click event is registered or not creating a new text for a page title and adjusting some properties of it we will use this title text to reflect level button click events i am getting few errors when i click down any level button okay i forgot to assign level number text to levels scroll view controller scripts level number text reference now run again i hope everything will be fine this time yes it is running properly now congratulations this is what overall we are trying to achieve for this video now let me show you all game objects value one time so all things become clear in your mind and i am writing comments within the whole code so it becomes further helpful to you it is it for this video if you like this video then hit the like button of this video and if you are interested to watch game tutorial videos related to unity game engine and published game videos then subscribe to the channel as well bye